Dillis Price, mother of Naughty Norman Price, runs the village shop in Pontypandy High Street. The shop is most commonly referred to as Price's General Store. Bentley, first task, shopping at Mrs. Price's General Store. Fire at Dillis Price's General Store. It's the handy little place where the people of Pontypandy can buy all their essentials. In the original series, Dillis can be kind of a mildly antagonistic character. She can be very nice to the people she wants to be nice to, and she can be very rude and insulting to the people she's not fond of. She's very nosy and loves to gossip about other people's business behind their backs. Dillis was actually inspired by a Coronation Street character from the 1970s called Hilda Ogden. Hilda was very much like Dillis. She was nosy, gossiping about other people's business. Well, I'm not going to say it twice, Hilda. Out. And you, Billy Walker, you can talk about peeping toms, because I've seen some of the filthy books you read. Hi, you didn't know about that, did you? And she wore a purple hairnet and rollers quite often. She even had three plastic ducks on her sitting room wall, just like Dillis. Dillis can be quite eccentric, very silly, and sometimes very ignorant. I thought it was too foreign to work properly. She provides a lot of comedy in the original series, but she also is the most dated character in the original series, especially by the 2020s standards. I've explained before in my History of Bella Lasagna video that Dillis can be very ignorant towards Bella and her Italian background, and it's mostly stemmed from Dillis's jealousy that Trevor Evans takes a shine to Bella, and doesn't show all his romantic affection on her as much as she wished he would. Dillis knows really deep down that her son can be a bit of a tearaway, but she always disregards it in front of other people, claiming that he's Mummy's little darling. Mummy's little darling. But when Norman does cross the line, the original Dillis wouldn't be afraid of giving the boy a hiding. She's done some dodgy things in her time, like donating the gone off fruit to the charity raffle. Whoever wins these will have a dicky tummy too. But given her backstory is quite tragic, sometimes we can sympathise with her and probably understand why she isn't always the nicest person in the village. We don't know what happened to Norman's father, whether he passed away or he left Dillis, but she's a single mother trying to look after her son and trying to run a business all on her own. It couldn't have been easy for her. Everybody wants to say that Fireman Sam is Norman's dad, but they seem to forget that in the original series, Dillis had red hair and green eyes just like Norman did, and in the episode Brass now, Band, Norman there? mentioned his dad's telescope. <laughs> it's my dad's old telescope. Hinting that Norman was aware of his father's existence when he was younger. Whether that means Norman's father was living with Dillis when Norman was younger or not. It doesn't go deeply into explaining all this. A lot of parents of the generation that grew up with the original Fireman Sam quite liked Dillis and found her a humorous character in the series. Her old-fashioned attitudes reminded them of their own parents or people they knew when they were children themselves. What? You're going to burn all this? It's only rubbish. Oh, yes, I, I can see that. Now, don't tear that paper. Save it. Of course, me being a stop-motion lover, Dillis's shop is a haven for people like me. Bumper films really went to town with all the props nodding to real life. Cream eggs, troll dolls, Daz washing up powder, or should I say Zaz washing up powder, cornflakes, the lot. In series 5, like I'd already mentioned in my Bella video, Dillis and Bella were kind of best friends in that season. And to be honest, that's probably the best way of updating Dillis's character. There's no need to remove Bella from the franchise altogether, just get rid of that amnosity between them. Like other people have said before though, John Sparks' take on Dillis is somewhat questionable. Even though Dillis was voiced by John Alderton in the original series, 
and he gave her quite a silly voice, it still sounded very feminine. Whereas John Sparks' takes doesn't really sound that feminine at all. Comes with being so clever, see? Dillis is a lot softer on Norman in Series 5, and she's friends with Bella and friends with everybody else in Pontypandy. She's friendlier, and that's probably why Norman is more naughtier. He gets away with more things. Now the CGI series. Oh no. When the CGI series came out, quite a lot of the characters looked different to how they already had been portrayed in the stop motion versions. But Dillis had had a complete makeover that made her look absolutely unrecognisable. Now she has black hair and glasses and her eye colour has been changed to brown. This is where the theory that Fireman Sam is now Norman's dad has come from. Dillis no longer has red hair and Sam and Norman are seen as the only redheads in Ponty Pandy. The CGI series is the first series where Dillis is actually voiced by a woman, at least in the English version. In the Welsh version, she was being voiced by a woman from series 5. She's a lot softer on Norman in this series, very noticeably. She flirts with every man in the series, more or less. And she's still a bit of a gossip, but nowhere near as mean-spirited as she was in the original series. Starting from the CGI series, the shop was now referred to as a supermarket, especially in series 6 and 7. I wonder if the supermarket needs some good energy. What the hell? How is that a supermarket? Her new character design is atrocious though. She looks completely nothing alike how she was supposed to look like in the original series. I knew they'd have to get rid of her pinny and hair net. Obviously, no middle-aged women these days wear pinnies and hair nets. But that shirt, that green shirt with pink dots what self-respecting woman would wear a disgusting shirt like that a disgusting clown shirt Dillis is still nosy in this series she still runs the shop in the high street but she's obviously a much softer character much much softer on Norman anyone who's watched the show any version of the show will know that she still holds a candle for Trevor but she's nowhere near as sharp dark or witty as the original Dillis Price. Oh, oh, afternoon. Oh, oh, I've landed in heaven. 